have no end of mystifications. <laughs> Try your wits on this one. Come in. Now, Mr. Rochester, take any card. Mr. Rochester, I'm sorry to have intruded. That person appears to want you. Does she? Miss Ashton, kindly oblige Miss Ingram by taking a card. If you ladies will excuse me. Well, Jane? If you please, sir, I want a leave of absence for a week or two. And what to do? Where to go? To see a sick lady who has sent for me. What sick lady? Where does she live? At Gateshead, sir. Well, that's a hundred miles off. Who may she be that she sends for people to see her at that distance? Her name is Reed, sir, Mrs. Reed. Reed of Gateshead? That was a Reed of Gateshead, a magistrate. It is his widow, sir. Mr. Reed was my mother's brother. It's miles off. Yes, sir, but I shall go. Well, how long will you stay? As short a time as possible. Well, promise me you'll only stay a week. I had better not give my word. I might be obliged to break it. But you will come back. You won't let them persuade you to stay there. I will, of course, return if all be well. And who goes with you? I mean, you can't go all that way on your own. The coachman, sir. His wife keeps the lodge. They're old friends. When do you wish to leave? As soon as I'm packed, sir. Well, you'll need some money. I've given you no salary. How much have you in the world, Jane? Five shillings, sir. It is 50 pounds, sir. You owe me but 15. I have no change. I don't want change. Right. Right. Here. Is. Two, three, four, five, six, eight, ten. Is it enough? Yes, sir. But now you owe me five. Come back for it, then. Mr. Rochester. I think this is a proper time to mention another matter. I'm curious to hear it. You have as good as informed me you are shortly to be married. Yes. What then? In that case, sir, Adele ought to go to school. Or to get out of my bride's way, you mean? I might otherwise walk over her. There's sense in that. And you, Jane? I must seek another situation elsewhere, sir. You must. With the help of your family, I suppose. No, sir. I am not on such terms with them. I shall advertise. You shall walk up the pyramids of Egypt! Look, I wish I'd not given you that money now, Jane. Give me back nine pounds. Look, I've a use for it. So have I, sir. You little niggard! Well, give me five pounds, then. Not five shillings, nor five pence, sir. Just let me look at the money. No, sir, you are not to be trusted. Well, promise me you won't advertise. Look, if you want a situation, I'll find you one in time. I shall be glad to, sir. If you, in your turn, will promise. But I and Adele shall both be safe out of the house before your bride enters it. Look, I'll give you my word on it. So, you're off then. Yes. And it seems that you and I must bid goodbye for a little while. How do people perform that ceremony, Jane? Teach me, I'm not quite up to it. They say. Farewell, or any form they prefer. Then say it. Farewell, Mr. Rochester, for the present. Farewell, Miss Eyre, for the present. Is that all?
So, you'll do no more than say farewell, Jane. It is enough, sir. Very likely. But it is blank and cool. Farewell. <laughs> 